Hey, long time no see. Hey, do y'all like making money? Do you like driving? I've got the gig for you. Stick around and I'll tell you what it is. I haven't been on here in a while and I apologize, but I've been so busy. Uh, doing this new little side hustle, which turned into a full-time hustle. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. But I tell you what. Have y'all been into a Hooters? I had never been into a Hooters before. Them poor girls must not make much money is all I can know because they don't, they don't wear the right size of clothes. I guess they're getting at that second-hand store or hand-me-downs from little sisters or something because they just don't seem to cover much. Man, they need to pay them girls a little more. Anyhow... I have been out and about delivering food. I don't do the people. I don't haul the people around. Driving for Uber Eats, Bite Squad, and now DoorDash. And I also do another one. It's called Roadie. I, I really like the Roadie one because it's not food. Uh, I have delivered uh, everything from Xbox games to car batteries it's from best buy and a couple of local parts stores and that's a really cool little gig right there and you don't have to mess with food nothing like that i kind of like that but the food ain't bad i this is the closest you'll ever well i'm not gonna say never see me because you know never say never but I do not ever intend to work in the food service industry. So delivering food is about as close as I plan to ever be or plan to ever do. It, it ain't bad, you know, if you got you a, a, a hot bag or something to put the food in. Because, man, th this is people's food. So just don't throw it over there in the seat and head out to the drop-off keep it in a bag and keep it warm and fresh for them but that's, that's what i was getting at the main thing about this i was going to tell you a little bit about the the job itself but the thing of it is if you like driving and you got something that's decently economical because you know i had that uh well i still do i still have my yukon but I bought me a little Chevy uh, Chevy Cruze. That's what this little ride is right here. And I went from 13, what was it getting? About 13.2 miles a gallon on the Yukon to right about 28 to 29 miles a gallon. And that makes a huge difference. Especially running around here in town. But there ain't no way I'm getting rid of my camper. My, my RV, my camper on wheels, my uh, home on wheels, however every, all that fancy wording is. But, uh, you know, I, I really like my Yukon. And uh, of course, Nikki is not taking it over, but she calls it her car now, or her truck. And uh, that's uh, hard to argue because she's the one that's got the key. But, you know, when I get ready to go camping, she'll, she'll either be with me or she'll be driving the Chevy Cruze and I'll be driving the Yukon because I like the camping, that thing. And the camping videos and fishing videos and all that are going to get fired back up, but I don't know about where y'all live right now, but it is 28 degrees in Wichita Falls. We had some ice yesterday, so I didn't even get out and do any driving. Snow, I don't mind, but when you're talking about just solid ice, no. I don't do that, not unless I absolutely have to. And in this job, there's another perk to it. You don't have to get out and drive. And if you say, well, if you don't get out and drive, you don't make no money. That is true. And that is another point. If you're wondering how much you make doing this, this is one of those jobs where it, it truly is what you put into it. Now, you can work a couple hours and make 25 50 or you can make 175 if you want to work 10 to 12 hours. That's a day. 
And granted, you have to take out your taxes, and then, you know, you subtract your gasoline, and your depreciation on your vehicle, and the wear and tear. you got to take all that into consideration. But to have the flexibility to not go to work if you don't want to because of bad weather, or if you don't feel good, or you just don't want to work, or you want to go fishing, or go camping, you can go. You don't have to call in to the boss and say, uh, I'm sick. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, you don't have to do none of that. But, thing is, if you're not working, you're not making no money. So you got to remember that. And the thing is, uh, one of the things I've been thinking about, and I haven't got a chance to do it yet, mainly because it's been cold, and I'm not real fired up about sleeping in my... Yukon when it's in 20 degrees. What I was thinking about doing is maybe go camping around a, a bigger town, you know, at least the size of Wichita Falls or bigger, and do a little working around there and, and seeing how Uber and DoorDash and Bite Squad and all that work there. See if you can make some money there. And then when you get ready to call it a day, you go back to your campsite. Yeah, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Just go back, go fishing, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to give that a try here in probably another month or two. There's a couple of lakes around the Fort Worth area I'll probably give it a try. We'll see how it goes. That's it. I, I, I just wanted to touch base with y'all, let y'all know what was up and what's going on, and that we are still around. Dirty Shoes Adventures is not going anywhere other than on adventures. <laughs> We're still going to be on YouTube. Just not as much, but a lot of that has to do with the wintertime. And if you're wondering how much money you can make, it's like I said a while ago. You can work, you can work 30 minutes, and you might get twenty dollars you know well when i was coming into wichita falls i turned on my bite squad app and they deliver to the base okay i had two orders and it was like 1686 i think and i was going right past both of them to get to the base you know i was going to be going right past one of them and if you're going to the base, you'd be passing the other one. So I didn't have to go out of my way at all. And that was 20 minutes worth of work, and it was $16.86. And then you may get a bunch of, I've noticed on DoorDash, there's a lot of $3 orders. The majority of them on Uber Eats is, you know, 5 to $6 and up. Uh, and... It may just be the timing. I don't know. But you can make just as much. The, the thing of it is, seems like you make more on Uber Eats than you do DoorDash. But DoorDash is busier generally than Uber Eats. So, you know, you can pick and choose. And just because you get the order doesn't mean you have to take it. You can hit decline. And according to what I have read, DoorDash cannot hold it against you for declining an order. You know, it can be that the order is too far. It can be one of those $3 orders that it ain't worth turning the car on for $3. You know, unless, it, unless it's an order that's going in the direction that you're wanting to go anyway. You know. A lot of it just depends on what you want to do and which way you're going as to how much you can make and what you want to take. And some people say they ain't going to take nothing that's less than $8 an order and less than two miles. Yeah, 95% of the time, those orders are not going to be that good. But they do come in that's that good. And if you sit there and wait, you will get one. But while you're sitting there waiting, you're not making no money. You can pick and choose. I generally won't take nothing most of the time under five. 
And if it's over six or seven miles, I won't take it unless I'm going that way. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know I'm still here, Nikki's still here, and Dirty Shoes Adventures is still around. But get out and have an adventure. It's, it's all an adventure. Remember I said that a long time ago. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I've rambled on long enough. As you can see, we're still here. I'm still here. Dirty Shoes Adventures is still here. And I hope y'all are all doing well and staying warm. Y'all keep on keeping on. We'll see y'all down the road. Bye.